Good morning. What a great time to be a Nigerian, don't you think? This is TMI Socials right here on Independent Television. I am Anwoluwako Stevens. So during the course of yesterday, there was a particular video of our president, Bola Hakmet Tinubu, that was trending as regards the new national anthem. Well, an old one, you know, reverted old national anthem. Anyway, I would love you to take a look at this and then we head straight on to the gist. We are, we are one and one Nigeria, and we should be proud of our going back. That is the past. In fact, if I have my way, I will bring back our old uh, first national anthem. That describes us much, much better. I don't know why uh, <laughs> we change it. It's about service, it's about diversity. It's about commitment, the value and nation building. So that is my message. And now this particular video trended during the course of yesterday up until this morning. And just in case you're wondering why we have, you know, what we have right now on, um, you know, the social media speech and also nationally as well. But anyway, following the ascent to the National Anthem Bill 2024, President Bola Tinubu, his vice, Kashim Shatima, and others on Wednesday rendered the new anthem in Abuja. Now, the signing of the bill into law on Wednesday by President Tinubu assured that Nigeria reverts to the old national national anthem, Nigeria, we hail thee. The anthem was rendered at the flag off of the FCT rail mass transit system in Abuja with the Senate President Godswill Akpabio, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Jibrim Baru, Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yesum Wiki and others in attendance. Now, before I let you in on how it was sung yesterday in Abuja, let's listen verbatim to the national anthem. In national anthem, Mr. Albert Congo raises the flag of the new nation. Nigeria, we So now let's go over to Abuja yesterday to see and hear how it was sang. The national anthem. So that's a glimpse of how it went down yesterday in Abuja. I hear someone saying, President wasn't even singing. But anyway, what do I know? Let's see how you've been reacting to this one on social media. So this user says, there is something to celebrate. Our new national anthem is a big achievement. Congratulations to Tinubu and APC. We need more also. Your eight years is assured. Um, okay, another thought on this one. This guy says, does this anthem kill corruption or enrich the citizens misplaced priorities this user is saying another thought still in the story still let's see let's see let's see 
Okay, so now this user, Fola Folayan, says, I'm changing the Nigerian national anthem written by um, a Nigerian to the song written by um, Colonias is a very indeed great decision um, that nobody in the National Assembly thought to stand against it in her words. Well, away from this reaction now to another interesting trending video that we did see on social media was our very own Senate President, Godfrey Lepabio. He had something to say. He says, and I quote, the speaker has just mentioned that those below 50 may not know the national anthem, Nigeria, we hail thee. So should the band lead us in singing it or should we use our voices? Anyway, listen to it for yourself. I, I would like to put the question. The speaker has just mentioned something that those who are below 50 years may not know much about the old national anthem. So can I put a question? Those in support that the band should lead us to sing the new national anthem adopted by both chambers of the House of Representatives and the Senate, can I hear you? Say aye. Aye. Those against, that those who are saying we should use our voices. Can you say nay? Okay. As Democrats, the eye is having. So the <laughs> May we now rise for the national anthem. Yes, indeed, the eyes have it. So apparently what that means is if you're below 50, you may really do not have an idea of how to sing the new national anthem. So that means you have to learn it right. But let's see how you reacted to this one. On social media, um, this user Fred says, when it comes to irrelevant things that doesn't add value to Nigerians, they will rush and have joint sessions, taking jokes seriously. But the issue of minimum wage increments have been on the front burner for over how many months without speedy passage? Um, I pity those. Okay, okay, another one. Another thought on this one still. Let's see, let's see what we have. Um, Peter Smith says, also, bring back the old economy of the country. Bring back Naira to dollar. Moving over, Sadu Key says, the president should kindly sing it out loud for all of us. We want to hear it from him since he's our leader. Now, those in support say aye. <laughs> well, um, this user, Major Ifaya, says, My thoughts are with the Super Eagles, um, some of whom have not even finished learning the Arise a anthem. Now, they will all have to start learning this one. Welcome to Chirping Mouth on national TV. Ghanaians and South Africans don't get a banter. And finally, this user says, congratulations to the 10th National Assembly. Major contribution um, is the first anniversary is introducing a national anthem. And it goes on and on. Away from that, still on what transpired yesterday, um, there was a bit of confusion that emerged within the presidency regarding President Bola Tinubu's scheduled address to the National Assembly. So earlier on, Bayo Onanuga, that's the special advisor on information and strategy to president, announced that President Tinubu would address a joint session of the National Assembly on Wednesday as part of the 25th anniversary of Nigeria's democratic journey. Now, this statement was echoed by a similar announcement from the National Assembly clerk, Sani Magaji. However, Ajiri Ungalale, special advisor to the president on media and publicity, refutes these claims, and he stated that the information was false and unauthorized. Ungalale asserts that the office of the president was not involved in planning the event. Well, apparently, um, Bayo Onanuga actually, you know, won in this competition, sort of, because it was a bit of competition, you know, on the social media space. Now, let's move over to your thoughts and how you saw this. Yusuf says, how the president releases press information. Bayo Onanuga will tweet first, feeling like the one after Tinubu's heart. Then, Ajiri Ungulale, the descendant of Lai Muhammad, will rubbish everything Bayo said as false and unfounded. Finally, the Dada Olushegu will chop small confidence and discredit information from Ajiri and his rival. Another thought, still under speed, distinguished K 
KPMG says, it looks like Ajiri is the leader of Bio Onanuga. Tinubu didn't address anybody lessons. Well, he did address though uh, yesterday. And finally on this one, this guy says, at this rate, we go pulled Onanuga and Ajiri into prayers. Do you agree? Well, on the foreign scene, away from the national issue, there was a tweet yesterday that, you know, resurfaced on social media from the UK Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak. He posted yesterday on X as saying, and I quote, you don't have to go to university to succeed in life. Full stop. And of course, netizens reacted to this yesterday. Let's see how you did react. Now, this one says, nothing to see here. Just the Prime Minister discouraging people from getting education. Another thought still in this one. Danielle is saying, education doesn't guarantee success, but formal education is very important. Let's be realistic. University prepares one for the real world, and graduating with good grades can pave ways when and of course, if the opportunity arrive, arise, well, connection can only get one so far, plus being a graduate brings respect. Still on this one, Dave Lawrence says, no, but people need the opportunity to be able to do so. Oh, and here is a major clue. To succeed in life doesn't necessarily mean having lots of money. After all, you can always marry into a wealthy, wealthy family. Well, final thoughts on this particular story. Final reaction to this one. Yes, this user says, you don't have to be elected to become prime minister. Now, that's like a basketball shot right there to the UK Prime Minister. And I'd love to add here, Daniel, praise that the UK Prime Minister is, of course, an alumni of Oxford University and Stanford University as well. What do you think? Well, I, I wouldn't blame him on this. You know, he's from a um, certain where everything is okay. You don't really actually need to go to school. Mm -hmm. We've seen people with a PhD going to UK and cleaning gutters. Right. We've seen people with their PhD go to UK and they're working in fuel station, gas station. Yeah. So if he come out to say you don't really need education to succeed, uh, in a way, he's right. <laughs> but in Nigeria, when you get your first degree, they will tell you even your first degree is not, not enough. enough. Go for the second one. Go for the second one. When go you get the, the second one, one they will tell you you need more degrees. So in Nigeria, I think you still need education uh, to survive. But in UK and probably other part of the world, well, economy is stable there. Hmm. So um, let's move over to yeah. the, the other story. What's your take as regards um, Gatsula Pabio saying those below 50 have no idea? Definitely, I don't even think I need to. When so you were, below 50? I, I, <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as you were talking about the new anthem, yeah. uh, we, we, when it was passed, I, I, I've started learning it. I've gotten the lyrics. You've I've gotten got, the lyrics. Nigeria, to, we hail thee. My sister, we just have to. But is that our problem? Is that our problem? Just look at how they rushed just look at the, the way they swiftly mm -hmm. passed it into law. With the president coming safe, mm -hmm. I don't even think his visit to the Senate chamber uh, where they had the joint session, he didn't really say anything much. Mm -hmm. Probably just went there to tell them, I have approved the new national anthem. But is that our problem? The minimum wage is still lingering and so many other pressing national issues. Let's get to Abuja and uh, get to hear from uh, Tolilokwe. What says you, the new national anthem, I'm sure you can recite it probably, Tolilokwe, <laughs> because you're in the FCT. <laughs> but, uh, I, I think we have also seen the minds of a couple of Nigerians right there. But like I said yesterday when we were having discussion in the office, the fact remains there are so many businesses of government, and the national anthem is just one of them. Though there are pressing issues, like people have been saying, the issue about cost of living and so many things. But I hope that we can be able to address this and probably make life better for an average Nigerian.